Axe, the NBA has begun exploratory conversations with Disney about holding the remainder of this season in late July at Disney's ESPN Wide World of Sports Complex in Orlando. The league has a Board of Governors call set for Friday, which is expected to provide additional details for teams on plans. It's a really interesting little question that I have here, and Marcus will join this as well. Max, we've been talking here this morning. I have long supported the idea of doing away with the conference structure in the NBA playoffs because it's become so one-sided in recent years and just seeding the teams 1 through 16 and playing it out from there. They could obviously do it now because travel is not a consideration, but it would be doing away with basically 70 years of history. Which side of that argument do you fall on? If you want to try that, I know why you say now. You might as well try everything now because there's going to be an asterisk. There'll be excuses no matter what happens if, in fact, the NBA is able to complete the season, meaning the postseason, and crown a champion this year. So I understand the argument. Actually, for a play-in game, I understand the argument because the, 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 the eighth seed, the seventh seed, ain't going to win the chip, although in funky years, funky things can happen like the eighth seed Knicks in 99 getting to the finals. So I'm, I'm for that. I think it would add to drama. Reseeding, I'm not as for, uh, Mike. And the reason is this year you have real drama in the East and in the West. Bragging rights in the East and in the West, specifically. Clippers and Lakers, and but 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 also just a deep conference. What's Houston going to do? Denver, Utah. It's the West is interesting, and you know what else? The East is interesting. Can the freak actually get it together and get and and get through that? Um, Tatum, can he be the best player on a team that makes the finals? What can the Raptors do without Kawhi? I think there were interesting questions all season long that are specific to both conferences. So while I get the philosophy behind it, well, might as well. First of all, it's unfair East-West. Frequently, the West is stronger. Reseed the whole thing. And I get why you'd want to do it now. Here's the time to do it. I, I like the plan. I don't like the idea of reseeding. Yeah, another good reason to do it now is because travel considerations are usually the primary reason given against it, and, and now that obviously doesn't, uh, doesn't apply if they were all in the same place. Marcus, what do you think? Well, it's different circumstances. I'm, I'm, I'm more prone to let's, let's, count, let's get the best 16 in there and, and figure out how that thing will play out. And I get it. I understand the argument that Max is making. But I also lean more towards what, what your, your thought process is on the G because, look, this is sport. Last year we watched the final where Golden State lost their whole team in the finals. And, um, and, and Kawhi and the Raptors were all obviously, uh, they took advantage of that. Now, you don't put an asterisk by that because that's a part of the game. I think the playoffs bring out all of that. And, the, and basically what the playoffs are and what's created, the, the craziness and contentious, contentiousness about what happens in the playoff is that things happen. Dudes get injured. Dudes have off nights. Situations transpire throughout team dynamics that we see outside of the game of basketball, not necessarily on the floor, take place. And it creates all of this drama. I keep going back to the NCAA tournament. March Madness is my favorite sporting event to watch. When you start talking about chips on the line, schools we never heard of having an opportunity to come beat the Blue Bloods and play the one seed against the, the last team that anybody expected to be there, the George Masons of the world, the Loyola Chicago's of the world. Like Those are the things that we remember about sport. If we could get any simulation of that in pro sports, I think it'll be more exciting than anything else. Obviously, you want the best two teams because that creates a lot in the championship game or the championship series. But I think the drama that that would create with the best 16 would be more riveting than anything else. All right.